Dang it. What's up, MSFers? I'm back. That's right. You can't keep me away from stream. I haven't finished anything that I set out to finish while I took this week off. But that's okay, I missed you guys so much I decided to come back and stream anyways. It is Feedback Friday where we get to bitch and complain and whine about everything in Marvel Strike Force. So, if you're one of those people who thinks the world is ending no matter what, if, if you complain about receiving a hundred dollar bill because it's folded, if you're the type of person that sends your meal back and asks for the manager, well then start your engines, baby, because today's your day! It is Feedback Friday, and I've got some questions today. I'd like to know what would make screen time better for you? Not reducing screen time, and we don't want to add anything else to extend screen time, but what would make screen time better for you? Also, I want to know... Uh, what do you think about the length of Cosmic Crucible seasons? When they're running, that's... We'd like them to be running, but when they're running, what would you like? Like, how long of a season would you like it to be? Also, are there some game modes that you absolutely just want them to do away with? I'm talking about RTA. I'm talking about Blitz. I think there is a big enough following of the other game modes that those are off the table. But as for Blitz and RTA, do you think that we should remove those or revamp them or, or, or just forget about it, leave them be where they, where they sit? I want to know from you guys about that. Also, how do you guys feel about them not putting out content when it's not working? So this week, we didn't have Cosmic Crucible because there were issues. There were issues with the leaderboard payouts. I think there were some technical issues with the new room rules. And so they just didn't run it this week. Would you rather have no content or broken content? Personally, I was happy with them just giving us the week off, right? Because it was a great time for me to take the week off. So that's how I like it. All right, let's get things started. What's up, Bendable Straws? What's up, Doolum? What's up, Strategist? What's up, Working as Intended? What's up, UK Bud? What's up, Up Dog? What's up, Devil's Fan? What's up, Casey Wyme? What's up, Shmoo? What's up, Herb? What's up, the Shane West? What's up, Random Hero? What's up, DJ Donk? What's up, Juicy? What's up, Black Tooth Grim? And what's up, Rustle? What's up, Working as Intended? What's up, Wapo? Everybody getting their name on the board at the last minute. All right, everybody. Thank you all for coming in and joining me today on Feedback Friday. Uh, I think it's a fantastic day for us to get it off our chest, right? Anything you wanted to let the developers know, what I do is I take screenshots of uh, themes and ideas that are getting kind of repetitive in chat where, where I feel like a lot of you kind of feel the same way I, I take screenshots of the ones that are written uh, The best and I put them directly into the server last time. We had something like 24 different screenshots of, of m Mostly different things that people were upset about but that were a lot of people were upset about I post the good and the bad I post the the things that you guys are all in agreement on and the the lesser voices that say no 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 this is still okay so I let them see it all I try to represent you guys as best I can so that your voice goes straight into this server and you can pass your words along so remember it has to be well written it can't have cursing or anything like that I'm not gonna put a bunch of nonsense into that server all right <laughs> Uh, I'd rather have any form of Cosmic Crucible. You'd rather, e even if it was broken? The week off has been great. Game metrics would suggest broken is better. <laughs> oh, working is intended, got two. Sorry, buddy. Do your gamma. All right, I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm going. I'm headed over there. Rolf Karen coming in with the raid. What's up, Rolf Karen? That's incursion. I like this song. It's a good song. You 
You want me to do my gamma? Okay. I had an hour and 55 minutes. What are we worried about? Okay, I can't sim this one. It's the last one. If I fail, I completely lose the whole thing from my alliance. So you can't sim that node. Bring back the ultimate 32 tournament. Shane West, from what I understand, we are not going to be getting an ultimate 32 tournament anytime soon. They are, however, working on, I believe, an eight person tournament as more of a trial run, a proof of concept kind of thing. I know we did have a 32 or a ultimate tournament. I don't remember if it was 32 or not. I want my season six crucible payout. We also need compensation for pain and suffering for them withholding our rewards and delaying season seven. Yes, you suffered greatly, didn't you, Papa Woody? If you're genuinely serious about that, let me know. If that's like really horrific, then I'll, I'll let them know. But honestly, I think we could probably probably go by without. What's up, Rella? Do a one week tournament or a broken CC and reset. Just communicate it as such. I'd rather skip any other game mode than CC. Um, try to try to include the the whole topic. So if I if I put your guys's uh, information in there, your your wants and desires and your dreams to be made whole, uh, put in a very full description of what you're talking about. Then, so if if I post just your thing, they understand. I bought Cabal to get an early advantage, and we had this week off, and now everyone will have leader, and that feels very bad as a spender. Yeah, dog, I think I mentioned that to them earlier, but I'll go ahead and put that in there so that they kind of understand. <clears throat> I think I can hit auto on this now. I think it's gonna work. We need to finish Gamma before 2 p.m. Eastern to get the auto launcher. I see, Dylan. Okay. If you've been looking at the amount of content in Twitch and YouTube, Cosmic Crucible is the lifeblood of the Alliance. Yeah, I I noticed there has been an extreme lack of content for Marvel Strike Force this week. I can sim this one, but I'm not going to because I want to make sure to move on if I can. It's the lifeblood of the game, you mean? Okay. We legit should get a week's payout for missed week. Just pay out whatever we got last season. Royalty, I believe that they are, they are going to compensate something for the missing, uh, for the missing week of Cosmic Crucible. I know that they understand people are upset that they missed out on it and that it is affecting things like the uh, the, the passes and uh, other such goodies. So they're working to make sure that everybody's made whole for missing out. Um, what are you beating up on him for? Let's go after Psylocke, please. We had a member quit last week due to Crucible being canceled, so we had to recruit, and recruiting at the top is a nightmare. So yes, pain and suffering. Really? Wow, that's pretty brutal, Papa Woody. Sorry to hear that. I heard a lot of alliances, or I, I have heard of a lot of different alliances either recruiting because they had people leave or their alliances are, are just about collapsing because they had like four or five people all leave at once. <laughs> yeah, strategist Shiro, that, that video is hilarious. Strategist Shiro, strategist Shiro is talking about um, Helldivers 2. There's a video out there, what it's like to be a wife of a Helldiver. It's very funny. There was probably one third the amount of Twitch streams and videos this week. Yep. There we go, that's gonna work. There's so many players that only continue playing because of Crucible. Every time they have ever delayed a Crucible season, people start quitting. <laughs> if we keep accepting broken content, then get comp, they will never improve their quality assurance. I kind of agree with Shmoo. I mean, I, I see what you guys are saying with, with people leaving because there's a week off of Cosmic Crucible, but if they were... If they were leaving because there's one week off of Cosmic Crucible, they weren't really in it, were they? 
I mean, that seems like... That seems more like an excuse to quit than a reason to quit. You get what I'm saying? Uh, that's just me. I'm passing this stuff along, though. Honestly, considering I was stuck at 99 out of 100 with Ip uh, uh, till the comp, I'm happy there's no CC, but that's just me. Then, then that's a member you don't want in your alliance. I, I agree with Sin Raven on this. Yeah, it just sounds like, it sounds like they weren't really in it, you know? But come on, man, we've been here for six years. We know how this works. If you can't take a week off a of Crucible, you are not cut out for shit like the Snap, Gold Gate, Orange Orb Gate. You can't hack it in Marvel Strike Force if you need just more Cosmic Crucible than a week off. Come on. I'd rather have nothing but CC than everything except CC. Is Dev on vacation? I don't know what, I, I don't know, Bubba Trooper. I don't know exactly what you're asking me there. What's up, bro? If no CC becomes regular, I will quit as well. It's the only reason I play the game. I don't think you have to worry about this being a regular thing, DJ Donk. Uh, I don't think there, th we just actually came off of a call with uh, some developers. Uh, some high sitting developers and it looks like they they have heard what the community wants with Cosmic Crucible as far as um, variety of rooms shorter seasons in general uh, and, and and things like that and, and resistance checks and things like that so and they're working on those things I do feel that they are in touch I I specifically would like to know what you guys would think the length of the Crucible season what would be the optimal length of the crucible season and remember the shorter the length the more they have to start recycling some of those room rules so i know that they want to make the seasons shorter without recycling room rules but that's kind of where they're at right now i want a refund on leader actually has at a musical festival also so luckily she passed out somewhere <laughs> My alliance looks like it just avoided collapse. We lost war and raid captain within a week. Ouch. Even if it's a one-off, that doesn't count for a season. At least let us play for rewards. Even if it's a, you know, that's a good, that's a good. I've heard that a lot, Stocky. I've heard that a lot. All right, so it sounds to me like the majority of you would like to either play a broken crucible that doesn't count or some, something needs to be played in place of Cosmic Crucible. Some variant of Cosmic Crucible needs to be played in order uh, for you guys to feel okay. Even if it's run the, run, the, run the last season one more time, but it doesn't, it doesn't really count towards rewards or whatever. We had a member leave as well due to Crucible ca canceled. Well, sold his account to someone, so the account isn't dead, but the person quit MSF on account, okay. I still think that's crazy that they're quitting MSF because Crucible. That just seems like they were just looking for an excuse. Wapo doesn't even play this game anymore. Uh, I'm going to try this one. Somebody was saying I should go over here and see if this puts the ability block on big time Spider-Man. And that might change the outcome to be a little bit more safer here. <clears throat> I like calling you Papa Woody. Not Pop A Woody, but Papa Woody. Like you're an old Woody Harrelson or something. They're gonna all of a sudden improve their QA. I've been complaining about that for what, five years now? Yeah, they're all frustrated with the stupid bugs. I just don't know why they can't figure out a way to actually fix that. Uh, let's get rid of, no, she's got ability block on, so we should be okay. Let's go here, see if we can't make that happen. Quitter's gonna quit, that's right. If someone is leaving due to a week off of CC, they were leaving anyway. That's what I think. I sure think so. There have been so many good reasons to quit Marvel Strike Force. A week off of Cosmic Crucible doesn't feel like one of them. 
Now, I do understand the idea that a person, let's see if I can't, no, she's got a ability block, I don't wanna waste it. I do understand the idea that a person goes through the week with nothing to do and they just drift off. I've had people who like, they go on vacation for a week and with every intention of coming back to Marvel Strike Force, but taking that week off, they just go, uh, you know what? I don't really want to come back. <laughs> so. Uh, thank you, Updog. Feel free to uh, post uh, other things from, from chat as well. Yeah, I didn't get it figured out yet this this week, Monguli, but I'm on it. I, 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 know, I know how to solve my problems. I just haven't solved them all yet. It could have been a straw and a camelback thing, yeah. Krakens quit all the time because they're because of Scopely and their laziness. That is true. It is definitely true. We've been conditioned to endure so many issues in this game over six years. Maybe this has been a social experiment this whole time. <laughs> uh, get this guy. Come on, get him. There we go. And I think we can just go auto. Oh, wait, I need. I need to see if I can't summon somebody back in. People freaking out over nothing. It's not the first time they took a week off between CC seasons. High sitting in high seats, yeah. How far behind chat am I? Oh good, God, Lord, I'm, I'm going back a ways, aren't I? Uh, I don't think Vol's gonna have her ult ready. I think this is a lost cause here. Yep, Vol's not ready. We're just gonna hit auto basic. You think the season should be four to six weeks long, Sen Raven? Is that right? Not CC related, but I couldn't tell you uh, last week because I missed your streams. I did a thing for science. I'm in a year two arena shard after CGR event. I set my defenses to shield minion and didn't attack for a week. Fell from number one to number 561. Most people around me were inactive for plus 14. So I concluded that 95% of my shard is inact inactive. That doesn't surprise me at all, Royalty. That doesn't surprise me at all. <coughs> this last season was the perfect length. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna snag Sen Ravens four to six weeks. Uh, yeah, and every time they cancel Crucible, people start quitting. It's a known fact. You can't cancel people's favorite game mode and expect them to stick around. All right, I'll put that in there, Killshot. A lot of people thinking that it's a really bad thing to cancel a season of Crucible. What would you guys say to canceling a season of something else? You know, would, would it be okay to cancel a, a week of war? Would it be okay to cancel, like, to just shut down Arena for a week if they compensated a reasonable replacement for the rewards? They should have just ran an Avengers Tower or something. Okay. Everybody wants that 32 tourney. Yeah, a tourney at the end of the season would be great. Run the last season one more time. Throw a tower at us. Let us have something to do if there is no CC. Okay. All right. We've got the CC thing. We're, we're hitting on that a lot. So let's move on from, from what to do in place of CC. I've got tons and tons of information in the server. Uh, you guys all seem to be somewhat on the same page on that front. How long till we get a PC client? Uh... Rello, it doesn't look like there's going to be a PC client anytime soon. They are looking at a web playable version of Marvel Strike Force. So you would go to the MarvelStrikeForce.com and have some sort of playable content there. I'm not 100% sure on what that would look like. But as of now, there's, there's no PC client in the works. And I think that has to do with things that are outside of Scopely's control. Yeah, I like the idea of a tournament at the end of each season, too. Instead of game bugs, kill some bugs. I started playing something else since there isn't much to do. Oof. A lot of people running over there to AFK Journey. A lot of people playing Helldivers. Uh, several other titles are coming out right now that people are excited about. Okay. 
This week of a skip CC did kill the hype for the season. Black Bolt killed Beta, he ain't coming back? Oh, okay. Wow, I'm way behind. The idea is don't give people a reason to quit or not to play. The game is stale outside of war and CC, and CC is more fun. Two months per season would be good. Two months per season? That seems like a long time. Stores and farmability needs updating. Nothing to level up now, free to play. That's a good one. Uh, cancel raids, cancel war for a month, please. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. I have a feeling that's just not gonna happen. Cancel war for a week, sign me up. We just got Superior 6 farmable and we'll be getting extreme relatively soon. Uh, let's go here. <clears throat> cancel war permanently. Wow. People not loving war. I don't think they're going to cancel war because there's so many people that, that spend money on it. There's so many rewards embedded in it. I don't think canceling war is a thing that'll ever happen. Cancel RTA for a week. How long is it between MLB seasons, NBA, NFL, NHL? Do you stop watching the sport when it comes back? Taking a week between seasons is a good thing. They're not canceling a season. I think, the ne I think they need a backup game mode and say this is in place as we get ready for the next season. That's a great idea, Boba Trooper. Dead Horse beaten. They shut down war, it'd have to be for two weeks because of the Caesar rewards. It would be cutthroat at the top for three wars in the season, yeah. You can't cancel war, there's also an equal amount of people that their only game mode is war. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you can't... I don't... So there's no chance they're gonna cancel permanently or remove any game mode at all outside of RTA. And there isn't enough push behind canceling Blitz for them to consider that as well. Too many things are intertwined with Blitz for them to cancel it. Although I am working on making Blitz part of the uh, Strike Pass token, so that as your login streak, you log in seven days or whatever, then doing a Blitz rotation just becomes automatic, and it'll just you'll get one Blitz rotation automatically for every new Blitz. So if you don't want to Blitz more than one rotation, you it you, you don't have to like it'll all be up to you why did i just click on that i didn't mean to click on that i'm gonna hit sim you can't cancel pvp content okay dm's checking <clears throat> uh cancel war blitz rta true red gear availability in more than just the gold store in whale stones all right Oops, that's the wrong that's the wrong thing. You guys got me switched over now. Season six was seven weeks long. Ooh, season six was seven weeks long? Ugh, yeah, that's terrible. RTA is only useful as practice, except they ban key people on teams you can't actually practice for anything. I mean, at this point, they kind of need to just open RTA up to everything so you can use it to practice stuff, right? I mean, that's all people really use it for. They should always plan on having a week off between seasons and have a version of Tower running during that week. <clears throat> Is anyone not on an emulator able to double dip? The online leaders shards. I haven't had. I don't have a PC, and the only people double dipping are using blue stacks. I haven't done it with LD player. I, I haven't done it with it. I haven't done it all, Norm. But I haven't even tried with LD player, so I don't know. This week off wasn't planned, so they didn't have time to do another variation of kiln or tower or anything. <clears throat> No one is able to double dip. It's been investigated. That's what I thought. I thought I heard that too, Doolum. I, I wasn't sure if maybe that changed, though. 
If they had just launched a tower mode with gold and training mats and milestones, enough people need those resources, the amount of screen time for the people will outscore war and CC. Uh, Norm says he's seen proof they didn't check hard enough, huh? I would play tower for gold mats, most would, yeah? For golden mats. Yeah, you're either short on gold or you're short, short on training mats. It seems like everybody's in one of those two categories. I'm short on gold right now. Uh, Nor oh, good. Norm, pass that along to Doolum so he can he can relate that if, if people are really doing that then it needs to be uh brought to the developers late to stream but hey run just message you back in discord for our defense up next week awesome tower is one of my favorite modes along with scourge and dark dimension <clears throat> Why does it even need to be a variation? Activate an old one if uh, people complain too bad. I don't think it's like a switch that can be thrown, strategist. It sounds to me like setting up any kind of crucible launch for the week, unless it's repeating the previous one, is challenging. Um, let's see here. I don't want it fixed. I meant that more for towers and PDs run over CC itself. Seems like Scopely is getting into toggle type of development. I mean, they're trying to change the code that the game is written on so that they can rebuild it in a way more functional manner. So no farming Infinity War Iron Man this week. I don't know. Is there no farming Infinity Man Iron Iron Man. Uh, let's just go down here. Oh, he's not in yet. Yeah, Shane West, that's, uh, they've been working on that for over a year now. They call it the spaghetti code and they're trying to untangle it so that they can do different things. I didn't run seven times, Real Invader. It's a reference to a, a science fiction character in a novel. What's up, some of you foreskin? God, I love that name. So this is what I've been working on a little bit each day because eventually he's going to come to the game, right? I mean, his team is going to come to the game, right? I mean, they didn't put entire loading screens out with him on it just for nothing. He's got to get some sort of a rework. I'm going to be pissed if they don't rework him. He's so pissed. What's up, Elder? Uh, what do you think of these lovely locks, huh? Insider info on Deadpool. I have nothing on Deadpool, Copcat. I, I know as much as you guys do about Deadpool. I believe he is supposed to be reworked for the Mercs for Money team or something. It's my understanding that the Panda Pool and... Uh, whatever they're coming out so I'm assuming he's going to be reworked so that's why I'm going ahead and oh he's not high enough to go to oh, wow well I'm not there yet I guess what's Rello got for me oh yeah see uh, Rello's got one over here Rello's two diamonds level 100 he's ready to go <laughs> yeah, Norm, if, 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 
Doolum's trying to help. He's trying to help. Okay, I wouldn't, Killshot, I would not take Domino to gear tier 18. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about Deadpool. I am making the assumption, like a lot of people, that he will get reworked for the new team. I, I'm like 91% certain, 91% certain he's going to be on that team. I mean, I, I think the fans would be absolutely furious if he wasn't. And he's so in need of a rework. However, I have heard nothing about Domino, not even people speculating about Domino, so I would not touch her. It's a big deal. DM it to run. He's also an envoy that can share it to get everyone comp. Yes. Norm, if people are double dipping, I really would like proof of that so that I can share it with the developers and they will get compensation out to everyone. They'll just send out whatever people were able to double dip. They'll send out that and sometimes even a little bit more to everybody else who didn't double dip. That's usually what they do. And the most important thing is they need to know that something's broken so they can fix it and hopefully make it not ever happen again. Fortunately, this company doesn't have a great track record for not repeating mistakes. What if it's an SW type rework? 93.5% certain, says Daddy Rourke's. Domino revives Deadpool and she's in the new movie, isn't she? I don't know. Did Benny Westside upgrade Deadpool? I don't know. No, usually everyone gets compensation, including the people exposing the bug. Well, Last Avenger, they try to compensate the people who didn't exploit. But yes, a lot of times, like just recently, they compensated the people who did exploit and not everyone else. And then they had to compensate again. It's terrible. Which character is next in the battle pass? Isn't that supposed to be zombie juggernaut? I took a week off, guys. You tell me. Benny did take Zemo to G18 a couple months back. I'm still waiting for some team to show face, including Zemo. I haven't heard anything about Zemo, Killshot. I know nothing about that. If Benny took up Zemo, he did it for some sort of a niche maneuver, or maybe he's theory crafting that there's going to be some sort of a Hydra rework or something, but I've heard nothing on any of that. What's up, ZKG? Uh, oh, I'm supposed to be finishing some of these, I think. Like this one, I think I can go further on this. I took Zemo to G18, but that's because we have a shit ton of skill gear. Not for long, we're gonna have a skill web warrior team. I mean, spider society team. Uh, what am I doing? I can just hit auto here for these, I think. Holy cow. Oh man, people blowing up my Discord. <clears throat> so, you guys, I, I'd like to know, do you guys feel that screen time in general is in a good place? Not counting this week, of course, because we were missing Cosmic Crucible. But had Cosmic Crucible been playing this week, do you think the amount of screen time that you're playing Marvel Strike Force is appropriate? Uh, are there ways that you could, without increasing or decreasing the amount of screen time, make that screen time more enjoyable? You would like more screen time, Alex? There are times, like especially this week, I like, I pick up my phone and there's no Cosmic Crucible and the war's not running and I'm like, there's nothing for me to do but collect a few resources and then turn my phone back off. Like, it was weird. You know? Sim all blitz. Yeah, they, they don't have the capabilities of doing a sim all blitz. It's the same reason why they have, you know, open all orbs. It opens up 10 at a time and just counts 10 at a time. 
because it would just crash the game if they if they tried to compute all of those at once and so sim all blitz isn't going to happen I didn't realize how much screen time is devoted to CC. This week it was great. CC adds at least two times the screen time. Stocky, one of the people happy we took a break. I need more, especially for streamers. Right, OB Dabs? There were very few people streaming this week. Uh, Marvel Strike Force, at least. Like, there was not a lot. Man, that one left a lot of hair. Holy cow. Just left tons of hair on me for that one. That wig needs some Rogaine, man. Ugh. I feel like I went to the barber shop and he swept the floor and then dumped the dustpan over my head. That was terrible. Oh, it's all over my seat. Man, that was a bad one. Okay, I gotta back up. More for me, please. I love this game and want more to do consistently. Days when there's no CC or war, uh, just dailies are the worst. Give us more regular occurring towers in Battle World. Okay. Uh, Battle World still under construction. They are excited about it, and they're they're doing a lot with Battle World that's got me excited. Um, they're listening to our feedback and making some of the changes up front that we suggested to them at the summit. So it's looking good. I want the game to stop getting overcomplicated and needing a fame or juicy to explain things. <laughs> Ain't that right? Overly complicated. Why do we need uh, spreadsheets for everything? Sim one at a time, but auto. That's a good idea. In, whoops, that's caps lock. In regards to uh, Blitz Sim All. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Where is Sticky? Sticky's probably not streaming because there's no Cosmic Crucible. CC adds years of screen time if you're Sticky, almost like no streams if you don't get the game on. <laughs> Even if Sim All Blitz took five minutes, it would still be better than manually doing it. Yeah, I think so too. Auto 10x already crashes the game. Auto All will never happen. Yeah, Auto, auto All is a deal breaker for them. They don't have they don't have the capabilities to make that happen. But I think there are some sort of ways that they could negotiate around that. Just letting them know that the community really wants something like a sim all for Blitz is important. And the Blitz problem is only going to get worse, right? Shut up, Dulum. I just want live and talk. Sh I just went live and talk shit this week. Yeah, it's pretty much it, right? right? That's what we're doing here, right? Get mags the fuck out. Can you talk about that battle world feedback or is it that NDA? Uh, they're they listened to us in that we didn't like uh, a, a little Magneto as the final boss. So Magneto is out. And they teased us, and I'm pretty sure I know who is going to be the big bad of the first season, but I can't tell you guys. And then um, it looks like they are planning like two seasons deep into Battle World is what I kind of got from it. I don't know where they're at. They didn't give us any details on it, but they're working on it. That was the important thing. They're working on Battle World. They're taking it very seriously, and so far... It sounds to me like it could be a really good game mode. I keep getting positive feedback from them about the ways that they're handling it. Is that a gray spot on the left side? My condolences. Maybe it's from being too salty. Oh, right here. This is my spot. That's my spot right there. Isn't that cool? I've been there my whole life. I ain't getting some gray in the beard, though. If it's NDA, could you just break it? Yeah, sure, no problem. You know me. MSF equals spreadsheets. Just 
Open all orbs is not available. That is correct. Foreskin, I have been manually opening 10 at a time and it's grueling. Here's the thing. What, like we have different arena shards, right? Couldn't they assign the open all thing to different arena shards basically, or just different sections of the community, whatever. So that only, so that like as they roll it out, individual like individual sections of the community get it so they don't overwhelm their servers you know started it like dead midnight for the for the west coast and see if it slows down everybody popping all those orbs at the same time blitz is starting to take as much time as simming at time simming as it used to take in a, in year two or three manually playing all the teams something needs to happen i agree i agree At this point, if enough of you are annoyed with Blitz, might as well retire the game mode. That's the thing, Alex Gaming. We can't retire the game mode because they've they've intertwined too many things into it. It's a great place for new players to get shards of characters and get caught up. It does have a small amount of gold in it that would need to go someplace else. And they, they've tied so many different recurring events to Blitzing. It's just one of their... One of their ways that they move this game along. And so to take away Blitz means that there's all these little things that go along with it that they have to relocate to other game modes. And it's a tough one to untie. The biggest being newer players use it to get shards of older characters. I didn't even make a video this week of break is, a, is good every once in a while. I think so too. I gotta tell you, Taking this week off from streaming and everything has made me want to come back and stream more. It's made me want to play Marvel Strike Force more. So I very much enjoyed this break. Uh, I really wish I could have done a defensive recording today, but we couldn't get uh, the people into Crucible to view their, their the screenshots that we needed, so it didn't happen. I don't really care to have any game modes removed. Having some gold injected into Blitz or RTA would be cool. I think they should reward XP too to help new players catch up. I'm not sure if that's something they can do, DJ Donk, but I'll let them know you said so. First boss is anomaly detected. <laughs> no shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> the final boss is obviously the wall from three years ago. That'd be great, man. If they brought the wall in, I'd be so happy. Wouldn't it be cool if they, they did bring in Battle World? And on April Fools, we would get something funny like the wall as the final boss. And it would just be like a stupid huge health bar on a dude that doesn't do anything. And you just repeatedly got to go in there and smash away and, until the timer runs out. <clears throat> Onslaught equals big magneto. I think it's something better than onslaught make different I mean if you can if you can imagine something better than onslaught, I don't know It, it sounded pretty cool what they were teasing to us They refused to release a game mode that isn't finished and I'd rather that that than releasing a broken one We keep telling them or at least, at least we used to maybe we shouldn't do it anymore don't put out something that's broken. We'd rather it be delayed. But now you guys are saying that if Cosmic Crucible isn't working, I fucking quit. Don't, you know, like, so I don't know what to tell him on that front now. <laughs> I mean, what's one more NDA today? The first boss is just everyone's missing nipples combined into one monster. The nipple monster, the nipple monster of battle world. Ask not what your NDA can do for you, but what you can do for your NDA. I'm not breaking any NDAs here, guys. I'm not saying anything that hasn't been said before. As much as we hate Blitz, Blitz character unlocks always give free to play players more shards than other unlocks. Tunes becoming farmable in the Blitz store also allows us to get them to seven stars faster than any other store. That's the other thing. If you remove Blitz, you have to remove the Blitz store, right? Because you won't be able to have a way to gain that Blitz currency. You could change Blitz into something else and then just adjust the numbers. Maybe that's an idea. Maybe you could make Blitz. Uh, you have... 15 
battles to do over the course of the day, and those are your 15 blitz battles. Not rotations of your roster, but just 15 battles. And then you decide what teams you want to use to score the highest points in that 15 matches, I guess. I don't know. How long was Open All available? Open All was available for a couple, like a month or two, wasn't it? What happened was, is they put out that compensation with for the 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 BYOB. I always call it BYOB, but it's the bang for your buck milestone that was broken, and they put out the compensation, and it had a ridiculous amount of orbs in it, and everybody started opening their orbs at the same time, and it crashed their servers. Fine, let new players play Blitz. Don't penalize the rest of us. I agree, Stocky. That's why I think if they put it in the strike token uh, thing for login streaks, where you just get a couple of rotations that happen automatically, so as long as you're logging in every day, you don't really have to play Blitz. Maybe there's an event that comes around and you want to push to eight rotations a day or something, then sure, or you could just not. I would hope that they would calculate it into their milestone for whatever event it's coordinated with that you didn't need to blitz, you could get the same points by pushing harder in a different area of the game. Those little things don't seem that difficult to reallocate elsewhere if it means we don't have to do the pointless game mode of blitz, which isn't enjoyable at all. I play games to have some fun. Blitz has never been fun. It's been six years, it's time. Preach to the choir. Preach to the choir, random hero. I'm telling you though, we've, there simply isn't enough people willing to get behind the whole delete blitz i've tried this and every time i gear up for a big push to try and convince scopely that they need to do something about blitz and do it now everybody just says either either they say shut the fuck up or they say i can't help you with this i'm, I'm not gonna get behind i'm not gonna support this because i know it's not gonna happen for whatever reason you know, Benny complains about gold in the game. I complain about blitz. No one wants to help Benny pushing for more gold in the game because they are either having a different experience or they think it's going to fall on deaf ears. Either people are having a different experience from me in blitz or they think it's a, a pointless task to try and get it to change. But it's not happening. I've given up on Blitz for the time being. I'm waiting for the community to gain some momentum saying, okay, we're up to 72 rotations and we got to do, you know, eight rotations a day between 72 teams and people are like, this is too much. And finally the outcry will be big enough and Scopely's like, okay, we got to do something about this. I never left Gnomes, I just wasn't streaming. If they get rid of RTA, they need to do some other non-cooldown game mode to cure my boredom. I think that is a, a wise choice. There should always be something that you could jump into when you're just like waiting in line at the DMV, right? How do you guys feel about the announcement of the female Silver Surfer for the Fantastic Four movie coming? I This is the first I've heard about it, Killshot, but if they're gonna change the Silver Surfer to a female, I'm going to be really disappointed if they make it a girl power kind of movie where they just bash on what they consider is toxic masculinity, which is a term being widely overused. Instead of calling all men toxic, let's define what masculinity should be and stop bashing on on men for being men. If they just if they just gender swap the Silver Surfer and they make a damn good movie, I'm okay with it. But if it's another one of Disney's girl power movies, I'm out. I'll be really pissed off and disappointed because I'm I'm over that narrative. I'm I'm over being being punished because I have a penis. Like I'm not I'm not the problem and I know a lot of guys who are not the problem and I'm tired of being vilified simply because I'm a male. And honestly, I think there's a lot of women out there who don't feel that they need Disney's support to empower them. Frankly, I would be pissed off about it. Like, I know a lot of badass chicks that don't need anybody's help to prove that they're as good as anyone else. I don't know. That's a different subject. 
New war bond for Helldivers is out on the 11th. Yeah, Dadpool, I saw that. I'm pretty excited for it. I haven't gone through the details of it yet, but I, uh, I'll probably be playing some Helldivers tonight. I know uh, West is Left has been wanting to play Helldivers with me too. I was going to try last night. I couldn't do it. Feedback. New Blitz's Gear Strike one was cool one that should come back. A training mat one would be nice too. Well, that's something different, Hockey M AMD. I'll put that in there. Minor feedback, but make that big head feature a permanent option. I had way more fun with that than I thought I would. Uh, uh, Coach Oso, they, they know that everybody wants that to be a permanent option, but again, that's a technical issue that... I think it has something, and I'm just kind of guessing here, I think it has something to do when the next patch comes in or the next characters come in, it makes a lot more work for them. They have to go double check a bunch of stuff, make sure it's not breaking anything, make sure that the new characters coming in are working with that feature, and they don't want to be spending that manpower on that feature. It's a little too much. So uh, they, they are aware that that was a very popular thing. In fact, the big head April Fool's joke was probably more accepted than the whole um than the whole of the anniversary which is pretty sad i mean i think it was a good anniversary i just think it was just so many unfortunate events that happened alongside it kind of ruining the good of the whole anniversary am i going to watch the solar eclipse yes uh some of your foreskin the solar eclipse i am on the edge of the path of totality so i'm actually going to be driving uh, a little more east, I think, on that day, just to make sure I'm I'm really centered underneath it. I've been in a solar eclipse before. Uh, it was a near life changing experience for me because I'm a, an astronomist. Astronomist? I like looking at the stars, and so it was it was a big deal for me, and it was way more powerful experience than I thought it would be. I've been in a lot of minor eclipses and seen partial eclipses, and that does not compare to being in the path of one. Uh, that was really incredible for me, so I'm really looking forward to going and seeing the other one. My kids are going to see it in school, uh, and so, yeah. Also, Sunday, while we're on it, uh, the eclipse is happening, but before the eclipse, on Sunday, uh, where is it? Nope, that's mobile's, that's mobile server. Here we go, let's bring this up. So, there. So, Sunday, April 7th at 4 to 7 p.m. Uh, in Frisco, Texas. That's in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you're anywhere near it, Valley Flying and Mobile Gamer will be there at Dave and Buster's. I am also going to be there. Uh, they invited me to come along also. So uh, I think uh, I'm going to be the opening act for these guys is what it's going to be like. So if you guys want to come meet Valley and Mobile and myself, I think Juicy said that he might uh, be stopping by. That'd be cool to meet him in person. I've never met Juicy in person, so that'd be cool. But anyway, April 7th uh, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, there's the... 2601 Preston Road, Frisco, Texas. Uh, come by and see us. This is the day before the solar eclipse. And then, hey, you could stay the night if you can find a hotel room. People are kind of going nuts over that. And uh, have a little have a little fun hanging out with us. Would you rather have an additional week of the same CC season? Nothing to be replaced it or another replacement game mode for the week. I think I'd rather have a replacement game mode like throw in a tower or a pocket dimension or something real quick. <clears throat> I think they should throw in a pocket dimension with a rewards that's set up so that like people who are early in the game and wouldn't be competing very heavily in Cosmic Crucible would get the same for how far they get into Pocket Dimension. And people who are like in Masters of Cosmic Crucible would probably be able to get all the way through the Pocket Dimension and get the same rewards for Cosmic Crucible by completing Pocket Dimension. Something along that line would be kind of neat. And just have that Pocket Dimension ready in the background for any time there's an emergency. Cosmic Crucible doesn't happen? That's cool, we've got Pocket Dimension. Or Tower, you could do a similar thing with Tower. I'd settle for that too. Giant Head Purple Sticky was my favorite. Yeah. Run, you can do the teal section of the showcase. Yes, I did the showcase, didn't I? I think I did it. 
Um, no, I don't want that. Get out of here. Teal section of the showcase. Uh, what's the teal section of the showcase? Not that one. Not that one. I did this one already as far as I can. Uh, this one should be done all the way through, and this one is the one I just clicked on, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm out of energy anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh, well. And then, yeah, this one, I've done this one all the way through, too. The first one. I've done it. Don't forget the test drive. The test drive doesn't happen automatically. You got to go through there and get that money. <laughs> We've had open all for more than a year, haven't we? Open all orbs for a year? Can't have been that long. I mean, I don't remember shit, but I thought open all orbs has only been around for a month or two or maybe three. I don't know. What if the Blitz store was changed to the Dark Dimension store and you get Dark Dimension currency from doing older Dark Dimensions and they get increasingly harder and you get more currency the harder the version of the old Dark Dimensions you do? This is a great idea, Doolum. This kind of uh, coincides with what I was talking about with them earlier. Well, not talking with them about, but stating that I'd like them to make Dark Dimension something you can do over and over with rewards. I think that's a great idea. Give me a couple of rotations for logging in is great. Just make it not count for event points and there is no issue. I like that idea. Make it not count for event points? Why, why would you want it to not count for event points, Stocky? You mean, so you'd still have to do some blitzing for the events, even if your streak, like, even if you need to do one rotation a day in blitz, and your streak took care of that, you'd want people to have to manually go in, not manually, but sim, and go through blitz? It's very rare at endgame I have to blitz these days. Personally, I have no issues. Wow, you don't blitz at the end game there? I mean, I thought everybody did one rotation of of uh, Blitz. I'll put it in there, Agent Ga Alex Gaming. I'm happy to sign your petition as well as telling you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Should just make Blitz give gold and training shards constantly and let people farm as much as they want. Nah, that'd break the economy, bro. People would use people would use uh, bots and scripters, and they would run max rotations every single day. And a lot of people wouldn't understand why so many people are getting gold and training materials and stuff. They're not gonna do that. Have they increased gold since the level cap increases? Uh, yes, they have, Stephen. In, in a variety of very small ways. Benny Westside would tell you that they have not done nearly enough. Uh, hey, Boylan and trying to get your attention. Big Positive Geek would tell you that the gold economy is healthy right now. Personally, I have 2 million gold in my account, so I'm saying that no, it's not enough gold, especially with the Crimson gear out there. They also gave us G19, so we had to spend gold there as well. Exactly, yeah. I hate Blitz too, but would rather have to do eight rotations a day to max an event or buy every new tune on a team to seven stars to use them in whatever other game mode to max the event. Blitz sucks, but Blitz events are the best for free to play. I'm fine with dealing with Blitz, but then make more milestones in other non-Blitzable events more reachable. I, I like that, DJ Donk. Uh, I still hate Blitz altogether, and I think that they should remove the game mode and make something that is equally good for new players as it is for endgame players and something that's more fun and not so mindless. But yeah, I think that the other game modes need need to be completable free to play. Uh, these events where, I mean, like the spiders, this event on the screen, I'm not going to finish this because I'm not buying these characters and you're not going to finish it because you're not buying these characters. I mean, if you're buying the characters, sure. Surfer is my guy. They're making a combo male and female surfer. Still dumb in my opinion. As long as they don't man bash, I'm fine. They're changing him to a girl. It's the female version. She's Shala Ball. I don't know. I don't know who that is, but whatever. I'll figure it out later. Arena and raids become so boring almost instantly. Blitz has never been enjoyable. RTA enough said. We have CC war and the sporadic modes in this game. Literally everything else is a chore. If we can start doing away with chores and replacing something else, that would be great. 
I agree there are a few things that are chores. Some people enjoy the aspect of farming and collecting red dots or clicking on red dots or collecting the resources. Hitting that collect all button feels rewarding, gives them the dopamine fix. So I don't think that's so much a chore. But the other game modes like Blitz, um, like going through, like these things, like these challenges that are not a challenge, that you just hit sim, like I didn't even watch it. I skipped the story, I hit, I hit auto, and I talked to you guys and it went by. This is a chore. Why are they spending time making this event that free to play players can't compete or can't complete and the rest of us just hit sim on? It's a waste. Give me something challenging. They need to remove the limits on raid sims. They can't. Oh, really? Raid sims. Yeah, raid sims is something they could do. I don't know why they have a limit on that. I'm curious. I heard about the female silver surfer is that cute little blonde girl. Yeah, weaponsy. I know. I'm a white, male, heterosexual, middle class guy in America, so I got everything going against me these days. But you know what? Weapon Z, we had a good run, man. That's why I don't bitch too much. We had a pretty good run, you know what I'm saying? Right? So I'll let somebody else have a turn. Just just don't don't tell me that I personally am doing the atrocities of my ancestors. Fuck that shit. Not not the, the sins of my fathers, I don't buy that bullshit. Limit blitz teams to 20 and change the math where you would get the same results from 20 fights that you would get from 55 fights or whatever we're at. Great idea, Mongolia. It's a great, great I idea to throw at them for fixing blitz. It's Silver Surfer wife who becomes Silver Surfer in a different universe. Okay. My penis gets punished every day, mostly by me. <laughs> That's great, Wapo. I should be around depending on time. Okay. Wow, I'm pretty far behind. They don't care either. It's a vocal minority pushing the woke crap. That's why it all crashes. Then they blame us. Yeah, Daddy Rorks, I know that, that Disney canceled a bunch of their phase four movies. And they, they took those, those movies and the characters that they were going to put in those movies. And they made them smaller roles in existing movies and TV. They canceled a bunch of shows, too, because they're not making the money. They're costing way too much to make these shows and movies, and they're not getting the return on their investment. How far away am I from a Twitch partner? I think I have, like, almost all of the categories, Rolf Karen. I just need to have more viewers in stream. I think I need to be averaging something like 75 viewers a stream or something like that. I have no idea. I haven't been looking to see how many viewers I have. Mind if I ask questions about what I should be doing after level 70? I just got to 70 and I saw that I can do GG Black Cat and Nova Trial event. And I know there's no way I can finish uh, enough of the runs to be able to get any of those tunes. Well, Spud, I would jump into those and just have some fun with them. Because those are fantastic trials to play around with. Uh, I think that's just a fun way to spend your time in Marvel Strike Force is doing some of those trials. So I, I would attempt them. I wouldn't build for any of them specifically. Uh, Green Goblin Classic is a must, and Black Cat, I think, is a must. You might be able to put off Nova, although he's great as well. I think Green Goblin Classic is the one that you really want to actually build for and go after. But there's, I mean, as you get to 70, uh, Commander Level 80, you really have access to a lot more of the game and have a lot more fun. Uh, the, the best thing you can do, Spud, is as you're approaching endgame content, start looking to be in the best alliance you can be in. A raid-heavy alliance that does a minimum of 10 attacks in war. They don't have to be like, we got a full clear, but they got to have where everybody's putting in 10 attacks and, and, and working hard to get as far as they can in raids. If you get those two things down in an alliance where everybody's rowing in the same direction, you're going to be doing the best that you can and having a good time if you are playing with like-minded people. Biggest win this week was Big Heads, for sure. I think that sentiment is quite accurate. It's Texas, like 90% cloud cover on money. Ooh, royalty, I never did check the weather report. I need to find out. I might have to drive further. Big head mode wasn't advertised for a month as a big April Fool's joke. That helps. Yeah, that's true. 
Go meet up with Boomer and them. They go into Texas. What about a total eclipse of the heart? Oh, dog. You poor thing, you. Uh, eclipse falls on my birthday and I'm in the path of totality. Way to go, Vendetta. That's going to be cool, man. I hope you don't have any cloud cover and you get to experience it. Even with no clouds, the whole world's going to go dark for you. It's going to turn to nighttime out of nowhere. And it's still going to be crazy, even with cloud cover. What time am I going to the meetup? I'm, I'm going to go the from 4 to 7, I think. Any suggestions on a good video or guide for this? I just started back and want to get some cool ass teams, but I have to actually do things in advance to be able to get to higher ranks. So uh, I think Valley Fine has some good foundational knowledge for newer players. I think uh, Benny Westside has some videos to get things up and running. If you're, if you're looking at unlocking newer stuff, Dorky Dad is running a new account. And so he's got some good content for you if you follow along with his baby account. Uh, Boylon has a baby account also, and mobile gamers should be starting up a brand new account as well and giving you more feedback rather than just the feedback he's been getting from his wife. So those are some content creators that you might look into following. We're getting a run strip show. Did I take off some clothes? Frisco is nice. I'll be moving there as soon as I'm done with school. Frisco's, Frisco's expensive, though. Both San Francisco and Frisco, Texas. I should be there as long as traffic doesn't go to shit. Traffic is definitely going to be, well, I guess you're the day before, Juicy. It shouldn't be too bad. On the day of the eclipse, man, forget about it. Don't try and drive anywhere but out into the cuts. That would be a 12-hour drive. Bendable straws, that's absolutely worth it, man. 12 hours is worth it, bro. Come see us. Rooms in that area are probably 500 bucks for a Roach Motel that night. I bet they are, yeah. Juicy, honestly... Like, if any of you want to come crash at my house that night, give me a call. I'll, I got a big couch. You can see two more people. So if, if anybody wants to come, give me a call. You can come crash at my house, and, and I'll, I'll give you guys a place to stay. Who's talking about San Francisco and why? We're talking about Frisco, Texas. I'd sleep in my car and look for an Airbnb. It's like T-Dub never left, I know. If I start getting too far behind, tell me, I'll just skip to the bottom and you guys can start re-asking questions if you want. We had an open all orbs for at least six months, definitely not one or two and definitely not a year. We had open all orbs for at least six months? Has it really been that long? Okay. Dave and Buster's is like an hour and a half from me. Yeah, it's about 30 minutes from me, Juicy. Blitz takes too much time, so we'll do Dark Dimension instead. <laughs> Dark Dimension, you can just put on auto for most of those nodes. What's up, Kinnick? Did I, did I get a too many hats from Windstorm? I'm sorry. Hold on, I got something. Uh, what did I bring? Oh, yeah, I got I got something for that. Hold on. <clears throat> it's pink. I went from white to pink. Did I miss a raid and a follow? Am I that far behind? Okay, so... Holy crap, Connect did raid me. I'm sorry. I was, I was wondering why Connect was here. Normally raids to get, to get here. Okay. So thank you, Connect, for the raid. I appreciate that. Uh, let me see here. Oh, I missed a bunch of stuff. So thank you for the follow, Dan Stiletto. Thank you for the follow, Spuduma, Spudumai. Spud, appreciate it. Uh, thank you for the follow, the Mystic MC16. Thank you for the follow, Ribulus23 and Wobblerinum. Wobbly, Wobbly Renum. Sure, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Okay, I'm super duper far behind in chat, so I'm gonna skip all the way to the bottom. If you guys have any questions that I missed in that little bit, please just repost them, highlight my name. 
and and I'll I'll uh, answer your I'll I'll read your your stuff and pass it along to the developers. Okay, so what's up, Lord Richter? Uh, so it looks like you guys are okay on screen time, but you would like a few little things to help make that screen time go a little smoother. Uh, as for this, this, the season length of Cosmic Crucible, it looks like a one month length is kind of the average time I saw you guys mentioning. And then, uh, RTA is useful, but you need to drop the bands so people can play with any teams they want to try. Vral likes their screen time in, in MSF. And you know what? That's what the developers were saying. They were looking at uh, some some uh, some metrics of their own, and they were saying that they thought they were they were landing right on the spot with sp with the amount of screen time. Now, whether that's good screen time or worthless screen time, my take is that we need more productive screen time. Okay, I gotta go by. Bye, Rove Karen. Bring out RTA leagues. Why are we not getting Spider Society shards in the challenge mode? I keep getting Ultimus food from that difficulty, and it's actually dog shit. I don't know. I don't know, but that's a complaint I'll pass along to the developers. I have a three diamond APOC in my store right now, but need my Cosmic Crucible season rewards to get him. Ouch. Ouch, most F. Isley. That sucks, man. Sorry to hear that. Speaking of what's in the store. Let's go take a look. Ooh. Uh, I don't need that. And the orbs, I don't need those. I opened up 120 of these premium orbs. I got 30 shards of Black Knight. I was pretty happy with that. That was a pretty good deal. Um, what other orbs might I have in here? I got one of these. I think I got 12 shards out of it for the Gambitious Orb. No, not the Gambitious Orb. Who's the new one? The f uh, Family Affair Orb. I opened one of those. I got 12 shards, I think. Playing game for six years. Spent money and grinded to get to 100. BS boosted accounts get caught up without grind or amount spent. It's bullshit. Yeah, a lot of people are kind of upset about that. Waiting on word to find out if the boosted accounts are done yet or not. I think that they might be rounding the bend on that, but I don't know. <clears throat> APOC has been in my store a lot too, and they keep putting up, up offers. Just give everyone top 200 at this point if they're this incompetent of delivering accurate rewards. I think it has to do with more than just the rewards, Random Hero. I think there might have been some issues with the new Crucible season as well. Regarding Surfer Shalabal was his woman. They're supposedly making both of them surfers now. Okay. Thought they boosted everyone. Is that is that... Is that what they did, Daddy Rourke's? They've got everybody boosted. Boosted accounts are still heavily bottlenecked, though. I think everyone under level 70 is getting boosted now, not checked, though. I wish they would just fucking tell us. Just say, yeah, testing's done. These are the accounts that are boosted. Or at least tell the Envoy so that we could tell you. Like, we could unofficially tell you. Because I'm pretty sure that that has to do with some sort of... Uh, data the metrics internal stuff that they can't share you know like proprietary information and so they can't even like allude to it happening but they need to just tell us to say yeah everybody's account is now boosted up to level 70 or 85 or whatever my only expectation as a non-spending player is just to unlock the character but scopely doesn't believe in rewarding my four years spent with this game by allowing me to unlock a team i will need for incursion three Hopefully, hopefully everyone can unlock every character free to play during that character's unlock method. The Iron Patriot was not supposed to happen like that. They want everyone to be fully engaged and get the character. They boosted to level 90. People in Boylan's channel were complaining that the boost doesn't last all the way to 100 but stops at 90. Why are people like this? What's wrong with getting to 90, man? Like, I think 90 is great. I, I think it would be stupid to boost all the way to 100. I think they should stop at 80, personally. Make some 
people grind it out from there. Can we get experience boost for the next level cap rise too? Yeah, boost to 125. No, come on, man. Just let, let people grind at the game a little bit. I was watching Squid Princess trying to figure out Apoc Saga and Legendary Scourge and her head exploded. That shit is way convoluted. Yeah, they need, I think that's something that they need to do as well. Make things less complicated. I mean, there's only so many ways you can build a burrito with the same ingredients, right? So they're trying to get radically creative so everything feels fresh and different, but it's still the same thing. How many blitz rotations? What energy are you spending? How many cores do you have to refresh on that energy? Like, you know, when you have a, a campaign event that you need to go through, like, are you refreshing that energy or can you just go through and use the free energy? That's all it is. Figuring out how many refreshes and rotations. That's all the events ever are anymore. It's just they're making them more and more convoluted because one goes into another, which goes into another to get the month long, to get the annual, to get apocalypse. Nothing is ever good enough for people who don't spend anyways. And the people who spend still complain too. Don't forget about them. We don't want to leave them out. The only character vets, the only character vets might not have unlocked was Iron Patriot and they fixed that. No, no competition now since accounts are boosted. Days of grind are over. Destroys why game was made. Once they get everybody on a level playing field, Lord Richter, it will be better. Boosted accounts are good now because when we started playing, we raced to get to character level, like gear tier 12, right? Like level 60. And now we're racing to get to 100. And from one up to about 65 or 70 is, is, should be nothing. That should be something that is easily done by just dragging the slider. And it's not, or it wasn't. And it was taking people a long time and we weren't, and players were quitting before they even got to the end game. They need to streamline that as boosted account hit APOC super early now. Yesterday was National Burrito Day. Oh, that's good to know. One year for APOC, now get APOC in one week. <laughs> it does seem a little extreme, I guess. Don't, re don't forget, you still have to get all the resources to unlock things and build your characters and whatnot. Yes, you can funnel into a handful of teams and, and get really far with a spear tip of a roster, but it, it still requires you to, to strategize a bit. Exactly. I don't think anybody's getting that much ISO 5 in a week. Big question. If next week's Zugs event is identical to his release, which I think data mine say it is, then if you completed it last time, will you get first time rewards again or just grind? I doubt you would get first time rewards again, but you never know. Uh, you know what? It might be people who already got first time rewards are going to be the only people who get first time rewards. You never know with this company. Uh, but hopefully it's hopefully it's a fun experience for everybody. We're all watching the Zugs event to see how that plays out. People will never be on a level playing field. The game will die if that happens. This game will die without boosted accounts. Die with boosted accounts? Uh, from what I understand, Lord Richter, the overwhelming majority of people are happy to have boosted accounts. They just wanted it to be uniform across all players. And it took them a really long time after we figured it out that they were doing A-B testing. And from what I understand, and now all the accounts are boosted, and it's all going to be the same experience, and it's just a matter of balancing out the currencies for those players as they excel. But the overwhelming majority wants players to get from start to 70 much faster. Just make sure to log in, write it reset, and go hard on it just in case. Inequality is the greatest motivation to grind in a PvP game. Take that away and what do you get? Yeah, that's why they use uh, pace cars or rabbit players. They, they pay people or give them free in-game currency to run out in front and be the leader and have people chase them. I don't think they do that in Marvel Strike Force, and I think that that is actually illegal in some 
cases, but it, it used to be a big thing. Boosted accounts get people quicker to end game, which is better for everyone, in my opinion. Boosted to 10 levels below max seems great. I think 80 would be great. I'd be happy with 75. If it's 70, okay, close enough. <clears throat> Cell networks will be totally overloaded. Yeah, I remember everybody starts making phone calls just before and after because they want to find, where are you? Are you here? How is it better? You pay to spend to race to get higher levels. Now with boosted, you lose revenue. I don't know, Lord Richter. It's a problem for them. All I know is that I think it's a better deal that there are boosted accounts. I would not want to play this game starting over if it weren't boosted. It would take too damn long to get anywhere. And every time I've ever tried a new account, I've been frustrated because it takes forever to unlock Crucible and War, which are the two most popular game modes. And there's a lot of people complaining that there's not enough fresh meat, you know? Boosted accounts get people quicker to level 100. In the meantime, how far are these players into DD3? They did this to verify that theory or disprove it. Well, see the thing is, Lord Richter, they did a fuck ton of testing on it, right? And they decided to go ahead and boost the account. So their metrics must show that they can profit from it, that it's a better overall experience and will in the long term make more money for them. And this company is looking more long term and more focused on growing the game. And so if if growing the game bigger means boosting the accounts to get people to end game players faster, then that's what they're going to do. Uh, thank you for the follow. It's Faffy Waffle. And thank you for the follow. B.W. Corvus. Appreciate that. Freaking amazing. Did you see it? No, I missed complete darkness followed by the sun almost blinding me permanently. Yeah, and destroying the lens of my phone. Don't try and film the eclipse with your phone, people. Don't do it. You need special lenses. It will damage your phone. It'll damage your camera. You need a filtered lens for your phone just like you need for your eyes. And a welder's goggle will not work. Don't use welding goggles to look into the sun. That's not the right, uh, that's not the right thing. So close to plat four in war, such a grind for a very insignificant reward jump. The jump from plat four to diamond is insane, though. I can pass that along if you want, DJ Donk. They could have foregone all of this by just giving double XP more often than not. But Vendetta, they wouldn't have known how that affects, how that affects their income. They probably wanted to find out whether Lord Richter is right, whether they would lose money by jetting people ahead, or if it was better to leave them to buy the hyperdrive bundle or whatever it's called. New time heist soon to reel in those new level 80 players to level 90. Yeah. I hope it's not an overcast day. I never even thought to check the weather. It's still better than trusting discount condoms. <laughs> I never did a sun staring contest, up dog. They can't even pay out Crucible. Never mind, figure out how a new player experienced without testing. That's true, random hero. All right, uh, I think I got your feedback. Things, things seem like they are winding down here. So if there's rain cloud on Monday, Boomer is going to be crushed. Yeah, I know, Squid Princess. I, I, hope, I hope it's not going to be bad. Uh, let's see. What's, oh, you know what? I never pulled red stars for this dude. Let's go for it. Let's do that, and then we'll close out. The biggest event of all, opening red stars. Reroll. 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 
Fixing Crucible is an engineering problem. Analyzing effects of boosted accounts is a data science problem. Don't conflate different work streams. Yeah, I'm opening Elite Sevens, of course. Oh, son of a bitch, Nobu! You fucked it up for me, dirtbag! It's like only I was trying to save him forever. I didn't want to get a seven red Nobu. Let's try not to get one. Damn it! That was my last two. Oh shit! I guess screen. Well, never mind. That's a reroll too. Convert? Yeah, I do convert these things to diamonds. I save one just for this, so I can just keep re-rolling until I get the new character. Look at all those seven reds I get to open! Isn't it crazy? Got this massive stockpile that just never ends! Oh! Oh my god! We got it! It's a miracle! Who would have guessed I ever would have got Peter B. Parker to seven red stars? Oh my goodness! What a day opening red stars, right? Woo! So excited! That's fantastic! What are the odds? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> okay. We're done here. Fucking Nobu. Nobu killed me, man. Oh, man. He's even diamonds now. Dang it. I wanted to just keep him forever at six reds. That's, I think I have every single character at seven reds now. <laughs> yeah, I got to end the stream on that for sure. Uh, let's find out where you guys want to go. Who's streaming? Let's find out. Oh, I got my work. I got my work stuff still up. Yeah, stop while you're on top. Don't open anymore. Not that it would matter. There's nobody else streaming Marvel Strike Force right now. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Blitz is a dog shit. Wow, game, see, this is the problem. The Crucible isn't playing, no one's streaming. No one's streaming, so I guess we'll have to go do something else. So I'm gonna go do my taxes. Uh, you guys can, I don't know, go watch some play, somebody play Helldivers or something. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go raid a Helldiver streamer, I guess, because there just, there just isn't anything else going on. Uh, Miss Positivity. Hey, I like the sound of that. Al and Sticky have work now? Pfft, whatever. Whatever. Let's see, raid. Fuck no. No, not at all. Not any fucking planet. All right, we're raiding Miss Positivity. Uh, so go have fun with Miss Positivity. Tell me how it goes. I'm gonna go do my taxes. That's not a dig on Miss Positivity. I just really kind of got to go do my taxes. So that's the whole reason I took this this week off is because they they screwed up my my taxes on my home and then my everything went south for me. So I got to handle that. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for your feedback. It was a wonderful time. And remember, when you go someplace else, be sure to let them know that Run7 has an amazing sign-off that was heartfelt. It touched you at a deep level, made you feel great about yourself, made you feel really positive. Tell them that my closing statements just blew you away and it was so touching because in actuality, I don't know what the fuck to say when I close stream, but I would like you guys to walk away feeling great about yourselves. So just tell them I said that and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.